<laughs> this is a 20 karat gem Burma ruby that looks like a cherry, doesn't it? If it ever got to auction, it would probably bring close to $20 million. Beautiful. The, the depth on that. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. I'm not sure if it, it can. It does look like the depth of a cherry. It's just incredible. It's, yeah. When I saw this stone, and, and it's also clean to the eye. Yeah. It doesn't have these unsightly flaws that a lot of rubies have. Mm -hmm. um, this thing is so off the charts rare, it's hardly even imaginable. This is the kind of stone that will, if it ever got to auction, which I doubt it ever will, in this today's market would probably bring close to $20 million. But it wow. will never get there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... So that's, the, but this is the kind of, this is the kind of, of, uh, of material that we look at seriously for this strategy. Mm -hmm. It's a mm -hmm. serious strategy. Uh, when, you know, true rarities come into the market, we're mm -hmm. pretty serious about what we do with them. Mm -hmm. And if it hits all the different tones that I want it to hit, yeah. and it hits the measures that I want to see hit, then we'll get to very serious and we'll, we'll compete to own it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll figure out what to do with it. Uh, but this is, this is where I spend, my, like I say, most of my time. Fun job. And it's a, yeah. you know, it's a totally different world yeah. when, 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 uh, when I talk about this, which is sort of hard I, to get me to do. Yeah, and I, I can see yeah. that. Yeah, no, there's risk. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. risk. I mean, when I put that stone on the wheel to recut it, uh, my heart was pounding. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't an easy decision. But I, you know, the stone had been in an older piece of jewelry for years, and it needed to be cleaned up because it was abraded. And uh, so I had to get a cutter on it, and that was pretty exciting. Yeah, and we've, you know, we've been known to cut some big stones. Um, uh -huh. You know, you can mitigate a lot of the financial risk but in doing that. But the, if something goes wrong, the, uh, the psychological damage that's, that could be done, both to my cutter and to me, mm -hmm. <laughs> it, you know, that's the kind of stuff you want to try to avoid. Uh -huh. It must be amazingly risky financially to buy it, buy it and hold it and sell it. It's the opposite. My biggest financial risk is holding an enormous inventory that are smaller ticket, more commercial things. The, yeah. the fine things, they're gone immediately.